welcome back people another little adventure today it's a boat adventure today the weather's pants this morning absolute pants it's raining not really what I was after to be honest here force four northwesterly doable today I suppose if it keeps out I suppose but I'm, I'm suspecting it's gonna be a bit of a rough one and a choppy one at times so what am I doing today so first off off down to the blocks and gonna go and try for some bass so it's high tide at five o'clock sort of prime time now i should leave in about five ten minutes and get down there and you just don't never know with the blocks sometimes the birds they're working and the bass are there and the mackerel there and it's all happening and uh, sometimes it's not generally it's not when you turn up with your boat and it's all happening when you're in your car and driving past but there you are that's the way it goes isn't it sometimes so what lure am i using so let me show you what lure i'm using so, using one of these double joint kiddies, Rapala. Been using them for years, J13. Absolutely deadly for the bass. Always worked for me. Um, Subsurface, sort of nine foot uh, diver, really, sort of thing. Um, yeah, really good, really works. The only downside of those sometimes, after a while, they get beaten up a little bit and the double joint comes apart a little bit and you have to re-glue it, sort of thing. Otherwise it loses sort of momentum on this double joint and, and it don't catch fish. And uh, with those though, sometimes it's all about speed as well. Not Don't reel in too fast and don't reel in too slow. But man, do they hit that law. They go off like a steam train, the old bass when you get one of those. Biggest one I've had on that is about a seven pound at the blocks. Um, for the people who don't know the blocks, it's in Portsmouth, down the East Knee. It's old submarine um, marine, um, barrier defences back in the World War II. Um, the blocks that go out about half a mile to three quarters of a mile out to the sea. And the bass love working in between them and, and that sort of thing. You can't, well this boat I've got now, you've got to be very careful with them because you will bottom the boat out on one of those blocks and you don't, I don't want to be doing that, that's for sure. But anyway, there's the weather. Five o'clock in the morning, it's raining, it's pants, but hopefully the weather will turn up a bit better later on. But anyway, after the bassing, I'm probably going to go down to sort of sales you mark, go and maybe do a little bit of breaming. Um, but really, it's a bit of an all day, really. See what I fancy and see what comes up, really. If the breaming ain't happening, I'll go do a bit of some race and dogs and smoothies and whatever it turns up, really, or I'll have a go at. Um, anyway, wish me luck. Hopefully we do the business. So currently I went down the blocks and uh, here I am. Uh, I tried drifting between the blocks, but now I'm trolling up and down alongside the blocks. The rod's quivering quite nice. I know the law's working properly. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Hopefully we might win one out. Sometimes you do, just trolling up and down alongside the blocks. Um, boats in uh, gear, it's running at about uh, sort of 2.5 to 3 knots, and uh, yeah, running alongside the box as best we can, and keep on steering. You'll soon know when you've got one, the old rod will be going like nuts, it'll be bending over the double almost. Anyway, hopefully, you get one. Well, welcome back. No joy on the old Rapala law, round by the blocks there, uh, there was no birds working. I'm not surprised, the weather's horrible, it's, it's, it's raining, it's cloudy, not exactly uh, lure and sort of bass fishing looking at it, but anyway, I've come down the Selzy, going to try for a few bream, um, the only downside at the moment, you probably see I'm rocking all over the place, it's pretty uh, rocky at the moment, it's wind against tide at the moment, so a little bit all over the place, but uh, we'll, we'll press, sort of press on and have a go at getting some bream. The boat's yawn to and fro all over the place sort of thing so I'm hoping not, not that it snagged too much in the old uh, lines and keep losing gear and all the rest of it but we'll, we'll get on there with it and hopefully we'll get some uh, fish with a bit of luck. See the rods in the water, two in the water, both with squid on, both running ledges, single looks on each and uh, yeah see what happens. Right, okay, I thought I'd show my sort of setup really, what I've got. So, just a running ledger, 
normally I'll, I'll go on a rotten bottom rig setup sort of thing but where I'm fishing today is not so snaggy sort of thing and uh, quite happy to leave it as a running ledger really with Termalink at the top I do like the old Termalink they're very good for uh, connecting and reconnecting pretty quick really nice cheap as well compared and uh, running ledger as I said with I suppose two and a half foot something like that with trace with a nice lovely bit of squid stripped out with a size 1 0 hook. So that's my rig. The only difference on the other rod is the line is red on the uh, trace. So uh, yeah, just flick it out now. Nothing too uh, fandangled about it. So yeah, it's in the water now. We're all good. Well, first fish of the day, people. Dogger, normal sort of stamper size, really. But nice to see anyway. Gonna get it back. But uh, they're always welcome, the old dogger, you know. They, you can rely on the old dogfish to do the business, can't you? Save the blank. It's gone back now, all good. Well, second one for the day. That fish, that is. Nice little starry. Probably about four pounds, something around that. I ran up to this one though. I found looked at it in the tail. Didn't even catch it in the mouth. Anyway, let's put it back. I'll take it anyway. Well, I've had another little move. Where I was before at Salesy Mark, the boat was yawing all over the place, and the lines were everywhere, and it was getting a nightmare to be honest. You're getting snagged and tangled around the. Uh, the um, skig of the boat sort of thing so I've decided to have a little move and uh, come out to the boulder where there's a bit more tide run and the boat will stay a bit more straight that sort of thing so and that seems to be the case so two rods back out in the water again both were squid on still trying for the bream but again no doubt for the boulder you pull up rays smoothies bass and uh, doggers and uh, last time I was here I caught place on the Bit of squid, so you never know, do you? You never know. So, we will get back to it and see what happens. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but there's blankets of weed coming through, which is starting to be a nightmare at times, to be honest. When it gets wrapped around your line, as you can see, it's pretty rough, rough out here. It's up and down. Yeah, there's another big lot coming down through. It is a pain, but you just got to try and fish through it. It will go, the old weed, it was just passing through, but it just seems to come in the direction of my line for some reason. But hey oh, that's the way it goes. But nothing is yet on the boulder. Starting to get a few good rattles now on the old bream. Not connected yet, but I'm getting a few rattles. It might be a question that I have to scale down maybe the hook size. But who knows? But I'll keep persevering with it. It was a hell of a bite I had and all. But as usual, missed it. Never mind. I think it might be worth re checking the bait actually it was a little bite so just in case it's, the bait's gone I suspected it has but if not I'll be I'll probably reload it again anyway <clears throat> so uh, the bait's still there but I think you see that and uh, but I'll give it a little bit of freshness Oh yeah, it's attacked it a little bit. I can see it's taken the, the tip of it off. So, rebate. And uh, see if we can connect to one of these bream. The tide's starting to go with the, uh, with the um, wind now, sort of thing. So wind and tide together, which makes it a little bit nicer for fishing. It's flattened off a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of swell out there. But if the fishing starts, you get through all the weather. Don't worry about that. <coughs> I 
Oh, there's one on this one here. Oh, here we go. This feels like a dog to me. Yeah, he's a dog. I'm not going to bother with a net on this one. Let's get him in. There we go. The old, no, the old dogs. Never fail, do they? Anyway, let's get it back. Want some of those bream, that's what we want. So again, re-sliver with a bit of uh, squid. Again, sort of size of your sort of finger really. That's all I'll do. And then just I don't know if you can see this, but it's just literally just sort of um, fold it on the actual sort of hook, really. So it looks something like that. Good hopes for the day actually. That sun is coming up now, which is better than what the weather was this morning. And I've just got this nice feeling that it's going to be a bit of an alright day today. Probably just put the kiss of death on that now, haven't I? Never mind. Let's see what happens. Well, folks, I thought I'd put the old uh, mackerel rod down, see if I could get any mackerel. And hey presto, I bagged one, and there's another one just fell off there actually. So. Nice to see a few mackerel. I do like a bit of mackerel for the old barbecue actually, and also bait. So uh, we'll carry on with the old mackerel rod. Been getting quite a few sort of uh, dogfish as I've been going along. So I've been here about two hours on the boulder now. Um, yeah, so a few bream bites, doggers mainly. No smooth, have I had smooth around here? Oh, I can't remember if I had smooth around here now. And uh, yeah, so I'll keep at it and uh, catch some more mackerel hopefully. Lovely things, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Look at them. So, I don't know about you folks, but the way I do the mackling for myself is if I'm generally fishing, I just hang the, the um, feathers just over the side of the boat, dancing up and down, around about the sort of 15 20 foot mark. You know, so I'm not working, working the actual uh, feathers as such. But if I'm actually working them, which I'm doing now, I'll go all the way to the very bottom and then all the way to the very top. And I'll keep doing that till I, I find them. And once I find them, generally they are around about that sort of uh, level of uh, water sort of thing, or level of depth of water I should say. So, and then you just keep going up and down and you just sort of work that depth of water because that's where they're sort of uh, swimming through sort of thing. And I've got my uh, sounder on sort of thing, so you can see the sort of shoals go through. Um, I've got a colour sounder sort of thing, so on mine you, it'll go, it turns red, so you'll see red blobs um, sort of mid-water or, or wherever really basically that's, that's what I know that's the shoals going through and you know when you have a complete shoal of them because the, the, the sound goes completely red almost you know um, but sadly you don't see too much of that nowadays but hey ho it is what it is but anyway I'm we'll carry on from Macklin and hopefully get a few more The 
Right, so the macro are around about the sort of 25 foot, something like that. So I'm just going to put this rod down right there so you can see it. <coughs> Let's count it down. Right, look at that, straight in, straight in already. Can't believe it. There we go, they're, they're around. Oi! Oh, mate, this one's pretty. There we go, look at those beauties. They'll do all day long, won't they? Right, let's see if we can do that again. Here we go again then, about 25 foot. Not so quick this time. There we go. Straight away. There we go. Look at it. Hey! All about the same stamp they are. All about the same stamp. Let's see if we can do it a third time. No, I didn't go down far enough then. That's it. It's up and down. Reeling up now. Let's see if I can come up further. No, no. Back down again. 25 foot range. Turn around there. No deep. There we go. Straight in. There must be truck loads of it down there. Full house this time. I've only got three hooks on. Ah, oh, I dropped one down. Never mind. Right, should we go for a fourth? Let's see what happens, eh? You can't beat Macklin, it's like being a kid again, isn't it? Absolute brilliant, isn't it? Hey, absolute brilliant. Oh, God, I'm going a bit mad there, going too far. to the bottom again. Right, on the bottom. Trying to find them again. Another way you can do it, like the Macklin, is do it in stages. Drop down, sort of, far, sort of, well, I'd say 10 foot really. Drop down 10 foot, pull up and down like this. Nothing there, go down another five or 10 foot and see if you can find them that way. There's several ways you can do it. Both my other rods are going now, so I'm gonna to have to put this uh, Macklin rod on the other side.
but this one's going a bit nuts, so let's see what's on there. I reckon it's going to be a dogfish, to be fair. Ooh. Feels a bit more heavy than a dog, to be honest with you. Oh, mate. Ah, that's why, this is the bottom, that's why. Ah, snagged in. Alright, go for the pull. There we go, that's gone. So, we tackle time up. Well, I ended up tripping the anchor, and so I've had to reset the anchor and get repositioned. I was in, I was in all sorts a minute ago. I had no rods in the water, I had two lines broke. Oh, nightmare, absolutely nightmare. But anyway, I've anchored up, one rod back in the water for the bream again, and whatever else comes along. And I've decided that with the mackerel rounds, I'm going to bung myself a life bait on. So, single look. Because there is taupe around, I'm going to go 150 pound mono. Um, on the basis that I may get a taupe here. But ideally, it would be nice to have a bass actually on the live one, on the live mackerel sort of thing. So, again, just a running leisure. So, I'm going to get to it, get, get myself a mackerel, and then. Uh, I should put it on as a live bait and, and throw it down towards the back of the uh, boat, towards the bank, because the bank is just over the back there. You never know. So uh, let's see what happens, eh? So first of all, let's, let me get myself a mackerel. And by the look of it, there's one on already. I'll just put the mackerel rod down while I was uh, setting up. So let me get a weight on. I'm gonna go for an eight ounce uh, weight just to hold the mackerel down and, uh, and go from there. It'll set me to go, so I'm just gonna go and get the mackerel. Oh, so, perfect size mackerel. I'm just gonna put them on now and send them down. I just put through the cheek, that's all I do, through the cheek, so nothing, so you don't kill the uh, thing, there we are, just like that, and straight in. You swimming like a treat down there. So, rod in, and I'm going to trot, trot it back. I've only got a light rod here for Greenwood really, so if I do get a reasonable time, it's going to be fun, that's for sure. So let's see what happens, eh? Right, that's on the floor, all set, ready to go. I'm going to set the drag, that's for sure. Well, another little bite, I think a little bit different this time. I wasn't expecting one of these actually, to be honest with you, but anyway, nevertheless, new species. And uh, when I get it aboard, I'll show you. I'm not gonna use the net for this one. So this little slimy creature, oh, hey! Look, one of those little beauties. Only a little dinky one, a few, few pounds, probably three or four pounds, something like that. But nevertheless, this thing's different, gives a different fight. I wasn't expecting one to be on here, as I said, but hey oh, thank you, eh? Hey. Just thinking when you think, you think, oh, I'll just have a little change of bait, and as you go through the rod, the thing slams over. Oh, it's aggressive, this one, I tell you, look at the bend in that rod, it's ridiculous. It's a little bit angry, this one. I think it's a smoothie. He, he's angry. Oh, yay! Look at it! It doesn't want to move! It's crazy, absolute crazy. I have to move my mackerel rod out of the way, otherwise, I can see us seven the tangle there. It doesn't want to come in at all. Look at it! Mental, isn't it? Absolute mental. It doesn't want to come up. It's hanging deep. Really hanging deep, that is.
Oh, it's really shaking. Coming up now. I've got the leader. I can see the leader. I can set this drag a bit. Oh, too light. I can see when it sees a real more daylight, it's going to go mad. Absolutely mad. It is all over the place. Jesus. I can see it going mad in a minute. I really can. Quicky, that is a nice, that is a nice starry, that is. Let's get the net. This is the hard bit, do not on your own. Ah, it was in the net and then it's out of the net, now it's gone down. This does not want to go in. That's the only downside of fishing on the boat on your own. The drag set, just in case it goes for another run. Ah, it's it again. Oh, man alive. Ah, Jesus. The tide's running, I just can't get the net with one hand and it in. Oh man, come on. I'm gonna lose this in a minute, I can see it. Moving rods around. I'm making a right meal of this, I am. Right, here we go. Another go at it. The tide's running as well, so it's not making it any easier. No, don't come near that rod. Yes, got it. God, made a right meal of that one, didn't I? Crikey. Right, let's get a yuck out and uh, give him a show to you. It's angry, it's angry. There we go, look at that. Absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Look at those. It's not massive, actually, to be fair. I'm, I'm guessing five or six, maybe, something like that. But, mate, that give it a good count for itself. That was a proper angry one, that was. I was having a nightmare netting it there, as you probably heard. But anyway, let's get it back. God, this is going to go back pretty fast. I can see it. Oh, that thing is angry, I tell you. That thing is angry. Got another angry monster on here again. <laughs> oh, they give me some grief, these smoothies today, I tell you. Absolute brilliant it is, absolute brilliant. <coughs> yeah, absolute grief. <clears throat> this one don't want to come up too much either, again. And liking to stay deep. That water is really clear as well. So I don't know if that's making a difference or not. I don't know. But do you know what? This could be a ray actually. It's cutting out the back. I think this may be a ray. I know something. It's not easy getting it in. I'll have to tighten that drag up a little bit.
Do you know what? I think it is a ray, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's a ray. And it's like it's all bunched up at the moment though. That's probably why it's gone to the back of the boat. It's dragging. It looks like I've caught it around the towel. Anyway, we'll get it in. Oh, no, it's just woke up and let itself free. I have to hold it with two rods, two hands like this. That tide's really ripping as well, it's not helping it. Here it goes. There we go, right. Am I going to net it this time round, first time round? I don't want all that palaver like I did earlier on. First attempt, missed. That tide is ripping, making it really hard at the moment. Now my mackerel rod's going now. <laughs> Absolute nightmare, isn't it? Come on, come in. Right. My canopy's not helping this, I don't think. Right, we've got it. Thank God for that. Oh, mate. Woo. Right, let's get it on board. Oh, it's a chunky, it's a chunky fawny. Oh, that is chunky. Right. Get the net away. Out of the way. Well, there we go. Nice fawny. I was going to weigh it, but the batteries don't work. Ugh, isn't it? Hey. So, nice fawny. I'm guessing around about the seven to eight. So, put it back. Yeah, it's gone back an absolute treat. I'm thinking I'm gonna really up my mackerel rod now. If they're still on there. Yeah, it feels like I've got a few mackerel. Oh, just the one. There we go, lovely. Nothing is yet on my live bait mackerel at the moment. I've checked it a couple of times, it's still good as gold down there, but nothing's happening on that one. So uh, I'll give it another half hour on it. If not, then I might go back to squid and still target those bream. I would like to see a nice bream today, to be fair. Anyway, let's get back to it. Well, looks like I might have a little passenger for the ride, maybe. I don't know, it's going to take flight. Obviously having a little bit of a rest as it goes across to where it's going to. Quite often you do see that when you're out at the sea, you get birds that have a little land or, and uh, stay on your boat and have a little rest and then off they go. There we go. I don't know if you can see that in the distance, but uh, it looks awfully ugly out there and there's a bit of a thunderstorm coming this way by the look of it. So I'm going to get out of the way of this. I'm going to probably go into Brackersham Bay by the look of it and uh, head over that way sort of thing and sort of get out of the line of fire if you like. Um, the last thing I want to do is get struck or the boat get struck or anything like that. So I'd rather keep out of the way if I can. Um, the last thing I want is my electrics fried out. But, um, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to make a move right now. Well, that's the storm. I've come round the side of it, uh, which I'm glad I did. It's pretty ugly, a lot, lot of lightning around. So, uh, yeah, it's caught, it picked up quite quick, actually, to be fair. And uh, 
in front of me is uh, clearer skies, although it is still windy and uh, squally. Um, I'm glad I uh, made the move. It didn't look too pretty where I was, to be fair. But made the right choice. So, uh, going to a different mark now. Well, boys and girls, that's it for another day. I left uh, Selzy about an hour ago and I come back down to the blocks where I was a small in on a hopefully a chance of a bass before going back into my pontoon and call it a day sort of thing. But it wasn't to be, there's no birds working, there's nothing much happening. Uh, so that's it, I'm on my way back now from the blocks to um, Langston Harbour. And uh, yeah, obviously I've kept a load of mackerel and um, yeah, what did I have today? So I had uh, form bat ray, starry smooth hounds, plenty of dogs in the end. I didn't show them all, but I had loads of dogs. No bream. I had a few, quite a few bream bites, so I just couldn't connect. I had small looks on, but it just wasn't happening, so they must be really small bream. Um, I had that nice smoothie. That was a, give it a good count for itself, so that was quite nice. But yeah, it was a reasonable day's fishing. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it was a reasonable day's fishing. But nevertheless, it turned out to be okay weather-wise in the end. It was a bit of a rough spot in places. Uh, but there we are. So that's it, me done. Hope you enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. All helps the channel. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, I should do a little clip now, me going back from the blocks all the way back to my pontoon.